steel plate with a circular hole is used in buildings and bridges to distribute load and maintain structural integrity. Their main applications include base plates for foundations and joints for connecting members. Today, you will learn analysis of a rectangular steel plate with a circular hole using abacus. Hey friends, if you're new here, I am Dr. Javed Qureshi, a senior lecturer at a London university. On this channel, we explore technical and human skills to help us lead more productive, happy and examine life. We will analyze this rectangular steel plate using abacus and I will be using a quarter symmetry to model this structure. This is the problem which I want to solve today. It is 20 centimeter long and 10 centimeter wide steel plate and I will convert these units into millimeters. 200 millimeters here and 100 millimeter here. This is 10 kN per centimeter square and I will convert it into newtons per millimeter square which will be 100 newton per millimeter square. I will only be modeling the quarter symmetric part of this structure which is hatched portion. This can be modeled as full symmetric or, or half symmetric as well but just to save computational time I will model it as quarter symmetric. The diameter of hole is 4 cm or 40 mm and the plate thickness is 0.5 cm or 5 mm. Material is a steel 200 gigapascal. We have to determine the effect of load applied to the plate on the deformation behavior of the hole and we have to investigate the stress distribution of a rectangular plate with a circular hole. And the pressure applied is 10 kN per cm square and I convert it into newtons per mm square which is 100 newton per mm square. The units, I will be using SI units using millimeter and newtons. That's the reason I have converted everything into millimeters. As usual, I will be using these nine steps to create this model. Let us now start modeling this quarter symmetric part in abacus. Start abacus, abacus is standard. The first step is part, go to part, double click on part, say plate. And here I will be modeling two dimensional deformable shell and I'm going to give dimensions as probably 200 would be fine. And here create a rectangle, click on dimensions, so this is 100 and this is going to be 50 because this is quarter symmetric model. The model has been created. Go away and cancel the model. Click done. Uh, once the rectangular part is created, then I will go to shape, cut and extrude. I will create a circle over here. Click on circle. Click at this point and then dimension the radius as 20 millimeter. Click on dimension. Click on these two points. The radius is 20. The circle has been created. Then simply click done. And this is your model. The next step is property. Go to property. Here, first of all, I will choose the material, the steel, mechanical, elastic, and the properties are 200 triple zero. Poison's ratio is 0 0.3. Click done, material has been defined. Then I will double click on section and I will choose a solid homogeneous section. And here I will activate stress and strain and thickness of the plate is 5 millimeter. We use plate stress and plate strain to model three dimensional structures into two dimensions. Plate stress is mainly used when we have very thick plates and plate strain is used when we have thin plates when thickness of the plates is is really very thin click done then go away and simply assign this section double click on section choose the and then click done section has been assigned next is assembly click on part click done assembly has been created the next is a step click on a step and a static general step and keep everything as default and then interaction there is no interaction in this model so i will skip this part and then click on load here i will define the boundary conditions first so double click on boundary conditions first is left bc i will define a symmetry boundary condition and boundary condition has to be in initial step click on this line and click done and this is 
x symmetric, symmetric in x direction. Boundary condition has been defined. The next boundary condition is lower BC. And here I will define this line. Click done. And this is symmetric in y direction. Click OK. Boundary condition has been created. The next is load. Go to pressure. Click continue. And click on this line. And the magnitude of load is minus 100 newton per millimeter square. The load has been applied. The next is mesh. First, object should be in part. Go to mesh and controls. Here, I want to define quadrilateral and structured mesh. So click OK. And then click on elements. Click done. I want to define plane strain element. So click on plane strain. Make sure you deactivate reduced integration. We use reduced integration in very thick elements where shear locking is removed. But here, because the elements are thin, so there's no need to use reduced integrations. Deactivate this part, click done, and then I will seed the part. I will use 10. The part has been seeded. Click on mesh, part, mesh has been created. And then job, simply define a job and any job. And here I will go away and save the model and set up working directory. And submit the model. A clean solution. And then I would like to have a look at results. Here, I don't want to see the title block. So go to viewport. I don't want to see title block, state block. And I don't want to see campus. So click OK. I would like to have a look at axial stress and axial stress is S11. So click here and click here. Then I want to activate the node numbers as well. So click at this point labels and node labels. Click OK. You can see that maximum stress is happening at node 12, which is 275.8 Newton per millimeter square. If you like, you can create a report as well. So go to report field output variable here I will choose unique nodal and at unique nodal it means that I would like a stress at each node stress components and I would like s11 make sure that it is at the last step and setup I will name this as plate the report has been generated so if you double click on report you can see that at node 12 I have 275 0.76 Newton per millimeter square, which is about okay because most common structural steel is S275, where the capacity or maximum stress, yield stress is 275 Newton per millimeter square. If I'm designing this plate, probably I will either reduce load slightly or I will use a little bit of higher strength steel, such as maybe S355 or S420. This is how we analyze rectangular plates using Abacus. Link to all lecture slides is available at tinyurl.com slash jqureshi abacus. Feel free to have a look at it.